In last spring's Eastern Conference Finals, Rajon Rondo and the Celtics led Miami three games to two. But Kevin Garnett and company couldn't close it out. A bitter loss in seven games was followed a month later by another loss. Ray Allen bolting Boston for Miami, where he has joined forces with LeBron James and the NBA champion Heat. And now on opening night, these Eastern Conference heavyweights go toe-to-toe -to -toe on TNT. I stay on course. We are uh, <laughs> making our way the towards the tip-off in Miami Celtics and Heat before like that, the that ring fade, ceremony. You You'll see it live at the bottom of the hour. And LeBron James getting his long-awaited first ring. the scene moments ago here at American Airlines Arena in South Florida on championship ring night. LeBron James collecting his first championship ring. For Dwayne Wade, it is his second. It's been a coronation for the Heat, but now it is on to year three of the Big Three era. The NBA on TNT Premier Week is being presented by Autotrader.com. It's the Boston Celtics and the defending NBA champion Miami Heat as we welcome you to TNT's traditional opening night doubleheader. Welcome back to Miami as we check out the starting lineups. And first, a look at the, the Boston Celtics. Doc Rivers calls this his branded fast lineup. He has three possible lineups that'll go with throughout the season. You see Paul Pierce, 10 time all star, along with Bass and Garnett up front. New addition, Courtney Lee with the spectacular Rajon Rondo. And for the Miami Heat, what a season. For LeBron James comes off a remarkable year, MVP of the regular season, MVP of the finals, leading scorer in the league. Up front with Shane Battier and Chris Bosch, Mario Chalmers, and Dwayne Wade in the backcourt. What a strange feeling it has to be for Ray Allen with his former team that lost to the Heat in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals back in their locker room while Ray is out there with a, a celebrating Miami team. Ray says he hasn't exactly made the emotional disconnect as of yet because, as he put it, his five years with Boston were, were such a, a wonderful experience. Well, he referred to his teammates, his current Miami teammates this week, as them. He said, I'm happy for them. You know, they deserve this. So he clearly hasn't felt part of the team yet, and it's going to take some time. I do think, Marv, it's good for him to get this Celtics game out of the way uh, immediately on opening night so that he can move forward uh, with his new team. So Ray taking his talents to South Beach <laughs> every 33 days after the Celtics were knocked out of it by Miami. The officiating crew, Bonnie McCutcheon, Kane Fitzgerald, and Sean Wright. Boston, three and five on the preseason. Doc Rivers saying it was a so-so preseason, but he feels very good about his team. And Miami at four and four, including a trip to China. In fact, the Celtics also went overseas, lost to a Turkish team, and then won in Milan. Of course, preseason records mean nothing. We know that. I think the, the key is, are your players ready? If you put in some good performances, is everybody healthy and in shape? It appears that both clubs, I think, are, are ready to go. We saw Boston, Mark, a couple weeks ago in Brooklyn in a preseason game. They looked fantastic. It was there. Battier came over to help. Oh.